and welcome to Everything Neuropathy, informative panel discussions designed to educate and inspire those of you that are suffering with the painful effects of this disease. These monthly panel discussions are created by Momentum Health Neuropathy Center and Dr. Karen May. My name is Teresa Renault, and I'll be the host today. I'm really excited about our discussion topic, and it's it's a topic that comes from an evolving part of an, an evolving medicine called functional medicine. Today we're going to talk about the differences between functional medicine and traditional me medicine in the context of healing and neuropathy. But before we get started, let's have a quick introduction by our panel experts, Dr. Karen May and then Dr. Ka uh, Ramona Wallace, sorry. Dr. Karen, uh, may you go first, please. My name is Dr. Karen May, and I am the owner and physician at Momentum Health Neuropathy Center. We're in Mason, Michigan. Uh, I have my own journey and story with neuropathy that I no longer suffer from because we figured out how to heal and repair. So we are in Mason, Michigan, and my, my titles and everything behind my name truly mean that I am a certified chiropractic sports physician, but I'm also board certified in chronic intractable pain and neuropathy. Interesting. It is, um, through my own journey, I needed more. I needed to know more, and so went for more education. Perfect. Dr. Wallace? Well, I am graduated from Michigan State College of Osteopathic Medicine, and so I got my medical degree quite a few years ago. I've been in practice for about 30 years, and now I am an assistant professor at uh, Western Michigan, uh, Homer Stryker School of Medicine, and I'm on faculty, and I teach residents and um, in family and community medicine. I'm also um, board, or I'm certified as an Institute of Functional Medicine practitioner. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. This is going to be pretty exciting because I think this is a new topic for a lot of people. I don't think a lot of people understand that they have choices. There's traditional medicine, and then there's functional medicine. Who wants to take a stab at launching us into what's, <laughs> what is what's, functional, yeah, what's medicine? functional medicine? Well, you know, it, I'm glad you asked because it's very simple. It's not dysfunctional medicine. Right? Mm, yeah. <laughs> and as uh, Dr. May was introducing herself, I thought, wow, she exemplifies functional medicine because she restored function after um, her horrific event that occurred and she lost the use of her right arm. I watched over the same period of time I was doing my certification, I watched her restore her function. So functional medicine is just that. It's looking at for the root cause of the dysfunction and it is restoring function. Yeah, and, and understand that we, this is not one or the other type of medicine. This is, we're looking at the whole person. And at times we absolutely, it's called acute care, where we absolutely need exactly what we have. We need our hospital systems. They're amazing. If we're having a heart attack or have a, we've been in a car accident, you're really, really sick. Thank God that they're there, that they can save our life. Right. But sometimes we get ourselves into a position more of the chronic type of care that that's where we're seeing I like I explained to people it's like a check engine light the check engine light keeps going off and all that we're doing is we're adding another like medication or another piece of duct tape on top of what's going on and we're never getting down to the root cause of why did the check engine light go off in the first place and, and, and so you can't just expect to go into any doctor, uh, like if your car is making a noise, you just can't call your mechanic and saying, what's causing the noise? Right. Uh, they have to do a diagnostic check on the car to figure it out, right? So we sometimes don't have the availability nor the time for our traditional doctors to take the time to go deeper. They can get the initial diagnosis, have a treatment option for you to take care of it. Yeah. But if you wanna go deeper, it takes time, effort, change. Right. That's a whole right. different ballgame. Yeah, it does seem like those appointments are getting shorter and shorter every year. You get like your 15 minutes maybe in front of that in front of the doctor, right? That's what it seems like. So how how can you have a deep dive conversation when you are only allocated that much time? Yeah, that's what a good what other what other things are are you know bubbled to the top in terms of differentiation or di a dif as a differentiator with functional medicine? What what do you so do differently? A, acute care, yeah, like Dr. May was saying, and what you said, 15 minutes. Yeah, we are typically in traditional medicine. You walk in, you quickly tell your doctor one or two symptoms, and this whole journey's been fun because I have to help my residents 
help patients retell their story mm -hmm. and rewrite their story mm -hmm. because people are not diabetics. People are not cardiac patients. People are not COVID patients. These are human people. beings. People. <laughs> their mothers, their fathers, their brothers, their sisters, their friends. They are people with conditions and their imbalances. And they are presenting to me or to you mm -hmm. saying, help me, give me guidance. So when somebody comes in and say, they say to me, you know, I can't walk. I have chronic pain. I, I, I am this. I have degenerative disc disease. When I ask them, why do you need that pain med? Well, I have degenerative disc disease. To me, I give them this blank stare like, what does that mean? Who are you? What can you do in a day? What do you want to do in a day? Right. Quality of and life. the quality of life yeah. thing is what a functional medicine doctor is and what they're supposed to, whether they're a chiropractor or whether they're a DO or whether they're a dietitian, mm -hmm. functional medicine looks at restoring that function and it helps people address where they want to be. Right, right. You know, I've heard there are these five R's that might help us further <laughs> define functional medicine. Anyone want to... And I just heard you mention yes. one of them. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Remove. Remove. That's a big one. Um, that's, I spend most of my time initially with patients trying to remove what's causing the problem. Mm. If somebody comes in with foot pain and they have an anvil that's 50, 50 pounds sitting on their foot, I'm probably going to say, you need to remove that anvil from your foot. What's an anvil? Anvil, it's one of those heavy lead. <laughs> they, 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 like flax. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's what they bought. They're yeah. heavy. And if it fell on your foot, it's probably going to hurt, okay. right? Okay, gotcha, right. Probably going to hurt. Yeah. That, that's real simple. So I would say remove it. Yeah. I, I know it seems very simple. Believe it or not, I do have people come in, and when I start to ask them, well, what do you drink? And they will say, well... I have, I drink Mountain Dew, and I'll say, how much Mountain Dew? And I've had people say four, two liters of Mountain Dew. A day. A day. A day. And they smoke three packs of cigarettes a day. And I probably will start in the remove, because no matter how much <laughs> yeah. I have in my armamentarium of medications, yeah. it isn't going to help them right. if they don't remove the anvil. Right. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. What's another one of the five hours, Dr. May? Uh, for me, it's also restore. Mm. But it, it restore is farther down the road. Restore rebalance is farther, farther down the road because that's what we were trying to get to, restore and rebalance. And so if we can understand what we need to remove, right. yeah, remove is always starting first. Um, if we can understand what we need to remove, people still have to do it. They have to want to do it. And that's where functional medicine comes in is we can, we can educate people as here's what you want to do. But I will literally sit in front of people and say, you, what you have done so far has gotten you to where you're at. Maybe they've already made some decent changes, right? The problem is they don't like where they're at. Mm -hmm. But doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result is the definition of insanity. So until someone is ready to make some changes, and functional medicine is not this quick fix. It's not a magic wand. There's no, there's no snake oil either, though. It is, it's, it's systematic working through a process so that way you can achieve to live life on your own terms. So in, function, like in relation to neuropathy, it's, our, we're always looking at what someone's motivation, playing with their grandchildren, being able to walk without a cane, to be able to not fall be present and go on a vacation, not have to think of planning life around what you can't do in the pain. So we then have to reverse engineer back. What do they need to do? Knowing what they want, doing the examination process, we have to set realistic expectations for improvement and then systematically lay it out for someone like we do in our boot camp. What do they need to do? It's not us. We'll guide and mentor them. And I think that's the difference between functional medicine too. We can help you to understand where you're at, but we can only guide and mentor you. If you don't do it, it's useless. So, so much of restoring function. Yeah. If you think neuropathy, I bet the last thing people think they're going to talk about when they come into your clinic is the gut. Oh, 100% they don't. <laughs> they think, <laughs> yeah, what? No, you're no. going to ask me how I'm pooping, yeah, right? Exactly. Or what, how, how is my gut? Uh, yeah, exactly. The, yeah. Um, the gut, I, 
it doesn't matter what condition, because if I'm not replacing nutrients and replacing good food yeah. into the gut, how can the body get better? And how does it have the micro and the macronutrients to heal and overcome what is contributing to the neuropathy? Yeah, so absolutely. you could share a little bit about what, when I send my patients to you for neuropathy, what are they actually going to expect? Well, they're going to expect that we're going into a very detailed health journey as to what they've done so far, where they're at, and then what are their, what's their expectations? Where do they want to be? Because health is not point A to point B. <laughs> it's up and down and all over. So if we can understand what we've done, we can kind of try to shorten that journey and give them guidance and steps. But we have to understand where they're at too. So we know they, they don't like it. <clears throat> they have pain, they have numbness, they have balance issues. But if we don't help to understand exactly where they're starting, Sometimes neuropathy, it's not, it, it's, you may have massive improvement in your pain levels right away, and other people don't notice it for quite some time. So we have to have a baseline of where are you starting? Then we can track your improvement with your effort. And so they can expect for us to talk about food. <laughs> We're going to understand if, if, you know, are they Sleep. having pooping issues, sleeping issues? Yeah. What, how, what parts of their life are being disrupted because they have neuropathy? hobbies, family time, uh, mental health. Relationships. Oh, relationships are huge. Yeah, I know, I know, like when, when I was going through it with myself, Steve, my husband of 20 years, he said just recently, he's like, I remember that first Christmas after you started your journey. And he's like, I remember you being there, but not being present. Not that you didn't want to be, but the pain and the numbness were so consuming you that you were just putting a facade on. And I hear that all the time, is they're just trying to get through their day to not disrupt, but it disrupts everything and everyone's aspect of life that you live with. Well, I can't imagine. I remember when that first happened, yeah. and I came up, we couldn't even give you a hug. No, because so of, sensitive. So painful. So and painful. It was, like, it, it, was, it was like someone just lit me on fire, even with just the simplest touch. And to watch yeah. you not be able to move that right arm yeah. whatsoever and yeah. to pick it up. Yeah was devastating to me to yeah. see that because this is somebody who I think is the best chiropractor in the entire world yeah. that I have relied yeah. on yeah. personally and professionally yeah. and to watch you go through this was I'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> devastating because but yeah. but you were going through this mm -hmm. at the same time I was going through my functional medicine yeah. journey yeah. and I couldn't believe how you not only walked it, lived it, but you recovered. Yeah. You recovered. Yeah. Yeah. So you are the landing page that I tell my patients. It's doable. It's There's doable. Hope. I've There's watched hope. you go through it yeah. and you did everything a functional medicine patient should do. Yep. Well and that's and that's why we that's why functional medicine is again it's not quick fixes. No. And and somebody has to be ready to take this journey on and not everyone is ready. And that's okay. And, and, and so, but when you are ready, we get people who are hopeless and desperate and fearful because they have no other options, but they do. Yeah. There is hope, right. but they have to be willing to trust, to walk through it, to put, to invest their time, effort, energy, resources, finances into it. It takes work, but it's worth it. Yeah, for sure. And I know, I know for, for like, I sit there and I'm so passionate about it. It's, I don't, I never take anyone's journey at face value. I mean, I'm so passionate because it's their journey. I remember where they're at. Right. Well, I always think of it as the Star Wars series, right? You remember, well, you don't remember because you're not that old. I, I do but in 76, <laughs> when the first one came out and then they went backwards in the series and forwards yeah. and it's a hero's journey, yeah. but it's not you don't walk into the doctor and get a pill and walk out and expect everything to change and I feel bad because I see 25 year old mothers 35 year old mothers wives and women are the caregivers and they say I don't have time to do that my husband won't eat that my kids will not eat that what do I do and that's why it becomes a journey it's a, journey. It's a partnership you're the expert, you're the CEO of this corporation. Yeah. I'm on your board, you're on their board, and you wanna put people on your board that's gonna run this corporation 
and the corporation isn't a one-day corporation. Yeah. It's a nine. That's a great year. analogy. It is yeah. really, you know. So in the context of traditional versus um, uh, functional medicine, obviously, Dr. May, you have an amazing journey as you walk through and walk through, and continue to you know be a, a positive survivor of yeah. neur neuropathy. Um, and I know personally from your practice that. You, you know, you're taking patients that are still, you know, they're at the end of their traditional medicine experience because, unfortunately, they're tired of just being numbed up. So at some point, you remove whatever it is that's mm -hmm. causing it, and you replace it with the right program so that their body reheals itself, basically. And one of the best things I love about some of your stories are the rivers and streams because we got to get mm -hmm. to a microcirculation. So it's not like you want you take the whole person, but you're also very uh, still traditional medicine aligned in terms of, of understanding yeah. the rivers and the streams and the microcirculation. But you do a much better, yeah. better job yeah. talking about that. So <laughs> tell us. This. So we're looking at you as a whole person, and and if you are inflamed, if you're eating so much crap that your body then produces crap, <laughs> you know you feel like crap. You're fatigued. You're, you're I mean whatever symptom, chronic illness you have. Um, if you don't bring that inflammation down, you can't heal and repair nerves. But the biggest thing is, is when you're looking at neuropathy, think about your arteries and veins like a river. They're going to flow. So you may have been told by your doctor your, your circulation is fine, yet it's the creeks and the streams that come off of the rivers that actually feed the nerves. That's called microcirculation. And, and so nerves heal so slowly um, in the ideal environment because they do have some microcirculation. But if you don't have that, you can't heal and repair nerves. Mm. And it, just any tissue, truly. So if we can help you to learn how to use food as medicine to bring that inflammation down, now we have an opportunity to improve that microcirculation in, in, in multiple different ways. Now you have a chance. Yeah. Now you have a chance to be able to help your daughter move in and you know where your feet are on the stairs. Now you have a chance to go on vacation and not be in a wheelchair Now and, and participate instead of sit on the sidelines. Now you have a chance to exercise like you want to. That's what you have to remember. There's hope. Right. It takes work, yeah. but it's worth it. You know, in conclusion, your practice is now national. You've, yeah. you've really grown your, your practice, yeah. and you are providing hope to a, a boatload of people. Yeah. Sorry to put it in that context. <laughs> how, how would you like people to, um, to you know, remember how to get a hold of you, what you do differently? How do you want to conclude and say goodbye to our audience today in terms of well, first, our session? First and foremost is we're a neuropathy-only clinic. That's all we do. Mm -hmm. This is where our heart, our soul, our research, everything goes into is how can we help make our boot camp that helps people start to their on their journey to relief, how can we make it even better with the newer stuff that's coming up? But the thing is, is I know where they're at in their journey. Yeah, I've been there. And my team has been with me so they understand what it was like. They sit with every single one of our clients along the way and, and, and hear the stories and can see the hope and see the transformation that happens. Um, but we've put a team around us that, that literally are, are experts in neuropathy that, that fight for and with our clients so that way they can achieve the results that they're looking for. Yeah. So yeah, we just understand it's a journey. Not everyone is ready for it. But if you are ready, and this is the first time you're hearing about it, find us on YouTube, find us on Facebook, find all of those. I mean, all the traditional social channels, right? But and watch some of our videos. Start seeing and hearing because you'll hear that functional medicine journey. But all you have to do is call. <laughs> There you go. 517-676-7112. But I want to highlight this. Your neuropathy relief begins here. Yeah. Thank Good you help. so much. And Dr. Wallace, thank you for joining thank us today and me. sharing your expertise as a functional doctor slash practitioner. Mm -hmm. um, so you're a doctor, you're you know board certified, uh, you're assistant professor, and you're an expert in functional medicine. How would you like for those that are interested in more information about your area of expertise to be able to re, uh, reach out to you. If you go to the IFM website, you can find, uh, you want look at the certified pr practitioners, and I'm in Battle Creek. And what is IFM? Uh, Institute of Functional Medicine. Thank you. It's <laughs> IFM.org. IFM.org. Okay. Yeah. And you can get the contact number from there. And if you ask them for the WMED Family Medicine Residency Program at Grace Health, they can connect you 
with me and schedule an appointment. Awesome. That's what I love. Is she's not just using this and helping people. She is shaping new doctors to understand how to truly look at someone as a whole person. There are are young, you know, young and hungry medical students who are ready to learn this. Yeah, and and it'll just it, it's just going to help so many more people. Yeah, I totally agree. Well, thank you. What a pleasure. This has been very informative. Yeah. I hope you all enjoyed it. Everything neuropathy. Check us out again soon. Thank you.